to go inside the ACC tonight as Louisville wins the opening tip and we are underway. Give Jordan Moore credit for sliding his feet defensively and more importantly not foul. Sutton will lift and hit a feathery touch. He makes 39% out there. Scored over a thousand points in his career. You wonder if people just forget about him. Here's Johnson to push that one up and knock it down. He's coming off a fascinating day. He can hit that three-point shot too. He's 42% out there. Here's Tony with a pull-up pop and knocks it down. And that's a nice play by Tony. Scoring change during the overtime. They gave, I should say, during the commercial. Louisville picks up an extra point because of the three-pointer by Darius Perry. Murphy will answer with a three-pointer of his own. Because that could come back to haunt the Panthers late in this game. Laura from three, off to a chilly start. It comes right to Johnson, blocked out of the sky by Brown. That'll trade a break. Here's the jumper by Murphy. Very frisky Pitt Panther team here early on. And where Pitt has struggled at times. Uh oh! Champagne with a fall away. From Trey McGowan. For Champagne gathering it, then going one foot. Trying to pick up their 14th win of the season. Johnson stepping the lane. The dish here by Williams and one. He'll be at the line. David Johnson with the response. The five to Malik Williams was able to finish through the contact. <laughs> Full headed guy. <laughs> Shot clock down to nine here. McGowan's lines up a long one and knocks it in. He has been the guy. 15 assists to seven turnovers in his last two games. Doing a great job distributing the basketball and getting his teammates involved, but also being aggressively trying to score the basketball. Uh, Malik Williams, you see him getting out and hedging on the screen and rolls. Switched in by Shane Penny, who hit a number of huge shots at Chapel Hill the other day. Something that they remember. You have to also remember these guys out here in stripes are human beings, and they have that memory. Sometimes they don't like to get rid of it. McGowan's with an outstanding scoop shot on the reverse. Balance for Pitt. And three different players who have scored at least six points. And from the corner, the long one there by Williamson. He'll knock that in. Shot clock is at four. McGowan's. Fires it up there and got it to go. A wild shot. He wanted a foul on the play. That was not forthcoming, but he buried it. And of course, great offense beats good defense anytime. Louisville trying to get it down on the low block, and that one knocked in by Enoch, the 6'10 senior. You see the zone by Pittsburgh, but yet Champagne as well as Tony on the back line are so spaced out, which makes it so much more difficult because, of course, Louisville knows that as well. McGowan's tied up. Good defense on the play by Sutton. That'll trigger the break. Wara going one-on-one -on -one with Johnson right by him, and he'll lay it in. Well, an 8 nothing run here for the Cardinals. Rebound up and in as Enoch really stuck with it and has given the Cardinals the lead here. will answer this for the Pitt Panthers. As you said, they really don't have that step-up score. Here's Johnson. He nails it. Well, he stepped up for a triple. So Pitt hoping to have that lead against the number 11 team in the country. Big battle for the rebound. Hamilton getting into the fray and a tie-up. Now consistently tonight, Pittsburgh has been getting that shot clock down to three or four. Happened again here. Hamilton slamming on the break, spinning his shot. He got it! He got it up in time! Trying to get Wara going. Pretty quiet first half. Just a handful of points. He's going to turn it over. Trying to muscle his way. That'll start the break. Tony runs it beautifully. And the basket by Eric Hamilton. To give the Panthers a three-point lead. And they have decided they are going to give him their opportunities on the block to be able to play against Enoch. This fresh Kimball. Wild looking shot. And as you say, very fast. No, and a floater. That's the worst part about it. Wara lines it up and drills it. Boy, that really makes him pay. It does, and that's where Jordan Wara is so special. And of course, off of turnovers and bad shots, which all floaters are bad shots, <laughs> you get out of transition. <laughs> Here's Tony. Long distance and a three-pointer. He certainly played like the preseason All-American that he was selected as that jumper knocked down by Brown about getting into the cylinder. He did not want his guys getting that close. He wanted to give him a step. Of course, you've got to be aware of the shooter, especially that guy Jordan Moore. Shot clock to 10. Rolling war blocked by Champagne.
Johnson to the paint, to the right hand, lays it in. That's a strong move. Champagne with a little slip there. He came up grimacing. McGowan spinning. Off the window for two. An acrobatic shot. Came off the iron. Well, you heard me talk about his athleticism. Unable to finish the dunk, but it turns out to be even better because Johnson knocks down the three. It's mad crazy. Steven Enoch, six foot ten, extremely athletic, goes up against Justin Champagne at six foot six. You gotta dunk that because when you don't, it turns out to be a bucket on the other end of the floor. The zoo being heard loud and clear. That one poked away, but not far enough. Warren will launch it and hit it. And that was a fortunate play from War. But you don't allow guys to be able to play basketball. That's part of the game. McMahon, yes! A three-pointer. Tonight, David Johnson, especially here in the second half, has been the guy getting his number card and playing very well. Gowans finds himself wide open, and he rattles in a two-pointer. McMahon just drained a three. The drive and kick, and Enoch with the stop. But that's the zone once again for the Panthers. An opportunity to knock off. A number 11 opponent, the swing for the corner, and that switched in by Simon. They needed that shot, Panthers. Johnson launches. Rebound tipped up. They get another opportunity. They get a fight right away. Back down by McGowan's. Off the glass. Thank you very much. Oh, yes! <laughs> well, a few times tonight, they didn't win. Blocked out of the sky by Brown, but right back up and in section of the moment they took a brief lead in the first half has cut into the lead they've been shut down Pitt trying to do it again and now David Johnson actually getting his opportunity at the end of the game playing alongside Fresh Kimball but give the cards a lead with 49.5 seconds to go the Louisville kid misses the first one and he rattles in the second one 61-61 Thought about it from about 27 feet, and he thought better of it. Now you've got the five that we talked about with McGowan's making the play. His three. High off the window. It's tipped. Two centers, which are rare in even college basketball nowadays, that you can play and trust, especially at crunch time. Johnson shredding the deep. He'll lay it in. Xavier Johnson. Eight to get off the shot. McGowan's pull up pop. And it's in. And kiss the backboard. He's done that more than once tonight. Kimball with a kick. And Sutton drains a huge shot from the corner. He's in dire need of a bucket. Down by five. McGowan's determined to take it. Hits it. Continues to make tough shots. Louisville comes into Pittsburgh and grinds out a win with a very controversial. Call at the end, 73 to 68.